hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your girl blue lotus tarot here and oh my goodness i have missed you guys so much um i this is the first time in maybe like two to three weeks that i've actually been able to sit down and record a new message so i'm super excited um i let's go ahead and jump right in okay um i just meditated and i was receiving some downloads and i was feeling guided to use the decks that i have chosen today um so let's just go ahead and get into it and see what your message is but basically i'm feeling like this is going to um be talking about something that you're manifesting um, or some sort of manifestation because while I was meditating I was seeing this deck but there's a specific card and I believe I don't know if it's called abundance but I know it has a treasure chest on it and that's what I was picturing in my mind's eye so I was definitely feeling that there is some sort of abundance that you may have already received if you have not received it already then you will yeah gratitude here as the first card out yeah be grateful because the more gratitude you have the more you can attract this abundance into your life or whatever abundance prosperity this manifestation oh, you got Okay, you guys, I need to chill out, but not really, but like, I'm just, wow, I'm so, <laughs> bruh, confirmation, you can't make it up, okay? I was literally, this is, I was channeling it, here's the card, okay, this is confirmation for you that there is a higher power, a higher force here, okay, wow, you can't make this shit up, yeah. Be grateful because you're about to, okay, first of all, be grateful because you already are abundant. And like I was saying, the more gratitude you show and put out there, the more abundance you will attract to yourself. But also be grateful for all that you have coming to you because like I said, I feel like you may have already received some sort of abundance. But if you haven't, like this is what's going to like come, it's about to manifest for you, right? Um, something I wanna point out too for some of you guys, you could be pregnant or you could be expecting you could be wanting to get pregnant okay that's just confirmation for some of you guys um, but for others of you what I'm also seeing too is like be the more grateful you are like the more positivity you're manifesting and bringing into your life right so it's like look at this abundance card okay there's two different scenarios right it's like this one person they dropped a coin down the sewer and they're so um absorbed with grief is what I want to say or like they're so upset about it they choose to take their money and go drink and go just sulk and sit in the in the uh, that energy, that down, negative, low vibe energy, you know what I mean? But then it's like this little girl over here, she finds this guy's coin because she was smart enough to use like the tools and resources, like I'm getting magician energy right now, like using the tools and resources that she already had to bring in more abundance into her life, like, and already too, like this house is for sale. Okay, yeah, some of you guys could be moving, that could be the abundance as well. Um, but what I'm just really picking up from this is like wh how are what is your mindset you know what I mean are you telling yourself positive things are you expecting positive things are you treating yourself positively or are you beating yourself down are you talking to yourself negatively telling yourself you don't deserve it or you're not worthy because all of that is like it's yeah that's what you're manifesting and bringing into your life yeah exactly have faith okay you are being supported right now by your spirit team your ancestors okay um the universe so yeah beautiful okay let's yeah this is talking about something you are manifesting now i was also guided to use my own deck that i've been creating as well with some channeled messages because there's a specific card on here that i was picturing as well while i was meditating and it's called fountain of wishes so okay we're just gonna go ahead and see what comes out if it comes out that y'all that is literally drops mic that's just gonna be the whole like end of the reading it's like nah but yeah wow okay so for some of you guys you could be an earth sign taurus virgo cap if not um this could be somebody you're dealing with we also have the claire so yeah you could definitely have some um spiritual gifts okay especially if you're like clairvoyant clairaudient 
okay? Different things like that, however it resonates. On this specific card, I have all of the Claire's written down. So, you know, again, however it resonates for you. Dang, they don't want to be saved or helped. Oh, cool. All right, tell me more about this abundance spirit. Yeah, you're a leader, exactly. You're a leader, man. It's time for you. You're a leader and you have, if you're a leader and you have these gifts, like it's time to, yeah. And you don't have time to be sitting in this negative energy if you're a leader. You can figure it out yourself. You can get through it yourself. And like, I'm not sitting here saying like, oh, you know what I mean? This, anyways, yeah, you got it, yeah. You got it. There's a reason why you're like you're needing to have faith. You know what I mean? Trust in what hold your vision. Trust in what you are trying to manifest. Let's see if we can get like one more. What else, Spirit? What does the collective need to know about their manifestation? I feel like also with the Claire showing up too, like you might be able to sense as well like that this manifestation is coming in or that you're about to receive it or something like that maybe you're unlocking like oh yeah what i just got to is like with this abundance and the treasure chest it's like maybe you're going to be unlocking a clear gift that you didn't even know you had you know what i mean yeah because you're an earth angel yeah, you're an advocate. No one has ever stood up for me before. You know how to stand up for people. Exactly. You could be a psychic or a tarot reader. And exactly. You could be chosen. But if not, like you are definitely blessed and protected. Like, yo, do you not see all of this? Like, yeah. There's so many purple cards showing up here for your reading. Yeah, exactly. With this earth sign, or then you're also like how I said, if you could be an earth sign, you could like, excuse me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like I said, you could be an earth sign, but if not, we also have like this earth angel. So yeah, I was just getting some earth vibes. You know what I mean? But pew. Oh my gosh. The only thing I want to say though, is I have two cards or two um, specific cards of this psychic or tarot reader in this deck that I just pulled from. Um, but I have one in yellow, which came out and that I actually sometimes see as like my negative, like a tarot reader that doesn't, a psychic or tarot reader that does have gifts, but they don't use their gifts for the right reasons because I have this same card, but in the purple color. And that is truly like somebody who's like truly divinely like using their gifts and reading tarot for the better or for to help the collective grow, ascend, evolve, things like that for positive things. So I'm not really picking up on that negative energy, but I do just want to go ahead and say, I don't know who, you know, who you're dealing with, if this is you or who you're dealing with. Um, just keep that in mind because like there could be somebody that's like pretending to be an earth angel or like a psychic or something like that when they really aren't. But it's like, yeah, there's, yeah, you've been somebody, you have been through so much and you know what it's like to not have somebody stand up or to not have somebody be there, to not have support, to not have all these different things. But it's like, no, you, you know what it's like. So you, you, you have gone through those experiences for a reason. So that way you can become the leader to help other people. You could give people faith. You know what I mean? Like whatever you do, especially if you're spiritual and you're a tarot reader or something. Yeah. You give people faith, hope, positivity to move forward okay let's just go ahead and get some tarot out here now to just clarify what this gratitude and abundance or like this manifestation i was picking up on okay. please tell me more spirit what else does the collective need to know you could be seeing 144 11 11 or 44 a lot What else, Spirit? Tell me about this gratitude and abundance. Yeah, oh my gosh, you can't make it up. Because, okay, yeah, for some of y'all, y'all are literally a star, but the star literally talks about manifestations coming true, wishes being fulfilled, hopes, dreams, having faith. Okay, yeah, this is definitely somebody who's very healing, okay? Like I said, you could be a healer. Um, let's see. 
Hmm. Okay, so we have the star, but we also have this five of cups. And usually the five of cups for me is like somebody who's grieving, okay? Somebody who's either grieving, is feeling heartbroken, has experienced some sort of loss. But the thing is, okay, notice how in these two cards there's, okay, you could be seeing rainbows a lot. Sorry, I'm picking up a lot right now, so I'm just, you know, <laughs> um, but you could be seeing rainbows, but also notice how these two cups, there's two cups here and there's two cups here and they're all full. Well, this one, these are overfilling, but these are full. So that's exactly having the faith because no matter what three cups have spilled over, no matter what you may have lost, may have had to grieve over, whatever you might be regretting or in remorse, whatever it is, like trust that those three, it could be, I'm just saying three because I see three cups, but it doesn't have to be three. It could just be one or two, but whatever has like spilled over for you or didn't work out, whatever you're grieving, um, it's like exactly, you're looking at what didn't work out instead of looking at what is or what even could work out because you still have two cups behind you that are full with opportunities limitless possibilities and things like that but it's like are you paying attention to that or are you aware of that like how are you communicating with yourself are you telling yourself you have more opportunities or that you will have more opportunities and that your cup is always going to be overflowed or flowing with love, abundance, support regardless? Or are you going to always kind of like cry about spilled milk? You know what I mean? Um, but I'm also so with these two of cups, this that, you know, the two of cups does talk about love, soulmate, um, having like an equal give and take or two people equally having something to offer one another. So maybe this does indicate something with love, like maybe you are wanting some sort of wish fulfillment with you someone you feel as a soulmate and like they could be a earth angel a psychic a tarot reader like you could be a leader like okay yeah so if we have this 144 here um like this could be a truly divine connection where it's like exactly one of you guys could be an earth angel one of you guys could be a leader but regardless you both have gifts that you can offer to the world and help others heal and bring faith to everybody else and I feel like that's kind of what it is as well right now is like there's a lot going on and it's it's testing your um, your willpower, your strength, your faith, everything, your beliefs. You know what I mean? Um, but we have the world card at the bottom of the deck here. So, yeah, with the moon underneath, you could be fearing something that is like about to come to a completion or you could be fearing something that like is trying to come to a completion you could be secretly trying to complete something or something could happen around the next full moon whenever you're watching this, this is timeless. But the world also talks about changes and it talks about positive changes. So yeah, I, I genuinely feel like this is talking about like your mindset, you know what I mean? Like how are you talking to yourself or how are you, like are you staying in a attitude of gratitude, you know what I mean? And having the faith, keeping the faith no matter what happens. Like if something kind of negative happens to you, are you being like, wow, this is the end of the world? Or are you being like, okay, it is what it is. I'm gonna put it behind me and I'm gonna keep it moving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, let's clarify this star. Yeah, the fool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning, taking a leap of faith. Yeah, here's the four of cups. So yeah, this is rejection, missing an opportunity, um, ignoring the signs. Because yeah, I feel like maybe there was a storm around your area or it might storm or rain or like either before or after you're reading this or around, uh, excuse me, uh, seeing this or, or around that time. Um, but it's like, exactly, here's the three cups again. Exactly. There's three, something, something or more than one thing, like up to three things didn't work out. Oh, okay. Um, what's that saying that I'm getting where it's like, uh, things happen in threes and usually sometimes it is more of negative things. So maybe it's like you had three different negative things happen to you back to back type of thing but it's like there's still one one or two opportunities that are still being divinely guided to you but maybe you either rejected this opportunity or you missed out on the opportunity or this if you haven't already like this is warning you like okay you these three already like these cups are already empty but there's still one that's filled 
Hmm. So then it's maybe like taking taking a leap. Hmm. Let's see. What's this fool? Because especially if you're trying to manifest something, some like you know, part of it is what yeah your beliefs your mental state but it's also like you have to take action too exactly i was just gonna say take action and here we have the emperor the emperor is always talking about taking action okay this is the masculine energy this is also a divine counterpart so exactly it's like for some of you guys you're being guided to take a leap of faith um towards your divine counterpart and even if not this is like this is literally saying take action or take a leap of faith on your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, whatever you feel is going to bring you wish fulfillment. Exactly. With the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, you have something to offer, whether it's to somebody else, whether it's to your family, your friends, your own community, or even the world in general. Okay. Because yeah, we have the world showing up here, more rainbows. It's like, yeah, especially with this emperor too, like look at this land or like this castle, like exactly. You're meant to be a leader for some of you guys. You, like, yeah, you're meant to lead your own community, have your own community. Um, I'm just getting very like royalty, like king and queen vibes of like having that kingdom, you know what I mean? Or like ruling over something. So let's see what this five of cups, this grief is. What I'm just getting to is like, you may have gone through some experiences that you feel like how you, exactly with this five of cups energy, but it's like, you're still having to be grateful for those experiences because they helped you become the person you are today. They helped you learn specific lessons that you needed to learn. Okay, it's all part of the plan. Exactly, yeah, okay. So we have temperance, Sag energy. Okay, yeah, queen of wands, so more Sag, but Aries, Leo as well, and the six of swords. rainbows this is the third rainbow that's popping out here so hey guys sorry about that i had to my storage was full so i had to make some space right quick but anyways um what i was trying to say is there's three different cards here with rainbows on them showing up so like I don't know if you've been seeing rainbows. I don't know if like rainbows are confirmation for you, but they always speak about miracles to me or about like exactly receiving manifestations and things like that. So like, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, just know like if you, like I keep saying, if you haven't received like you are about to receive, so trust, keep having that faith and keep having gratitude. But what I'm feeling with this five of cups so yeah, the temperance, okay, yeah. Wow, so somebody could be grieving the loss of an earth angel with this temperance being here. Because literally, it, it this, yeah, this angel looks like an earth angel, you know what I mean? Um, And I definitely, I definitely feel like if the, for whoever is grieving the loss of an earth angel, because of how we had that rejection or missing an opportunity coming up with the, um, with the four of cups, it's like, if you're grieving the fact that something was rejected or there was a missed opportunity, it's like, with this temperance, I feel like, um, I feel like this person was an earth angel, but they are also a queen of wands, which means they are somebody who's very passionate, okay, confident, physically attractive, sexy. They know how to stand their ground and carry their own. They're very creative. I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting like a renaissance or like medieval times kind of vibe from this queen of wands. I don't know if maybe you had like a past life or if like you like that era or like period of time, time period, whatever you want, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Oh yeah, but we also have the seven of swords, which is definitely talking about like manipulation lying, cheating, stealing. It's someone that's like trying to get away with something. Why am I kind of... <laughs> I 
Why am I kind of picking up on, because of how I mentioned earlier with this specific card being out in yellow instead of purple and how sometimes this like, this can be somebody who doesn't use tarot or their gifts for the, for the good of themselves or others. And the Queen of Wands can sometimes be like, uh, you know, in a negative light, it can be somebody who's like a third party person or like somebody who dabbles in like black magic, spells, witchcraft, things like that. I'm kind of getting like, um, maybe somebody's like in grief or like in all in their head because like, yeah, with the Two of Cups, these could be two different energies. Like one, like you could be interested or somebody could be interested in an earth angel who's very balanced. Uh, but there could also be a choice like between these two, between an earth angel and between this queen of wands, which is somebody who's more fiery. Or this could be the same person. But you could be grieving, like, especially if the if this is one person, you could be grieving the fact that you caused some sort of betrayal to this earth angel, to this person. What, oh, yeah, and 7-7, seven, because seven, seven of coins was at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, 77, that angel number might resonate for you. You're seeing things from a higher perspective now, or a higher point of view. You've gotten some sort of illumination on this situation. And I feel like that's why now you're being guided to, like, if you want the, yeah, exactly. I channeled the magician earlier. If you want something to happen, you have to be willing to take the risk or to take that action to be able to have it manifest. Because exactly with what I said with the little girl, you have everything you need, whether within yourself, in your physical environment, or both, to manifest the reality or the desire you want to have or whatever it is you want to have you know what I mean but again it's like taking action is part of it but also keeping the faith and having positive uh mental um like mental thoughts beliefs attitudes things like that is another part of it you know what I mean like you can't just want something but not take action on it <laughs> you know it's like if you want this person are you like and you're not even communicating with them how do you expect to like you're deceiving yourself oof okay so yeah what i also got cuz for a hot second i forgot i was trying to clarify the 7 of swords um yeah like i said with the magician the magician in a negative light it can talk about manipulation it can talk about magic spells things like that yeah oh my gosh yeah here's that cup too it's an empty cup why am i picking up like it yeah it yeah okay okay i'm getting it okay this isn't gonna resonate for everybody please only take what resonates but what i'm getting this betrayal it involves somebody who's like a magician type of energy okay they do they're they're aware you know they're aware of spirituality and things like that they know how to manifest but like i said if they're a queen of wands and they are like this psychic or tarot reader and they don't use their gifts and things like that for good what i'm picking up on is somebody is betraying like another person and by trying to manifest through using spell work, uh, black magic, things like that. It's like instead of trying to take action, they're trying to find a shortcut and use magic instead. But like clearly you see the glass is empty. So it's like it's either not going to work or like somebody could literally be just like at home, like getting a bucket or something like that and trying to do their own like things. But like it's not it's not for the greater good of whoever's involved because clearly like how I already said from the jump with this using not or using their gifts for negative intentions and also with the seven of swords it's a betrayal yeah we have the ten of coins here at the bottom of the deck seeing these two faces is kind of giving me that show legends of the hidden temple vibes that might resonate for you but the ten of pentacles is having it all Tell me more about this magician energy. I'm hearing kitchen witch. We have the page of cups. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to express their love. This is somebody who's a secret admirer. 
and they're using some sort of manipulation like to cause some sort of like betrayal, deception, harm. Yeah, with the hanging man too at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep some yeah, that um they don't want to be saved card that was at the bottom of the deck. That's literally like a stalemate keeping somebody stuck exactly and this is the hangman it's that same energy somebody doesn't want to be helped or saved or they don't they don't even want to hear it i feel um they don't want to do things the right way they want to take shortcuts they want to leave people hanging or they don't care if people get hurt in the process This could also be somebody who needs to apologize. Okay, what does this have to do with this temperance and queen of wands? A tower, because something was revealed. Yeah, something was revealed. Okay, this could have been in like an actual, like an environment. Okay, okay, okay. Something with the tower and the five of wands, something shocking was revealed. Something was revealed. Something was exposed. The tower came crashing down. Nothing's the same. Okay. And it's because exactly somebody was causing drama, conflict, chaos, whatever behind the scenes. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoever this magician energy is, they're trying to send this, they're trying to make tower mo these tower moments, they're trying to set, oh, yeah, somebody could deadass be doing chaos and conflict spells and sending it to this, like, earth angel, queen of wands energy, it's like some, this, whoever this magician deceptive energy is, it's like they're trying to send all this negativity, all these tower moments, this chaos, conflict, whatever, um, towards this earth angel, and queen of wands person and i feel like something could have been exposed with this palace of coins yeah somebody's stressed because something was exposed about somebody's environment like somebody's literal material okay like somebody uh something could have been revealed like you could have met up with somebody and then something was revealed or something was exposed happened you know what i mean like what i'm picking up on is like you were in a place, it could have been a public place, I don't know the place, but like, um, you could have just been out somewhere, because there's like a lot of nature here as well. You could have been out in nature or doing something with someone. But I feel like maybe you didn't know that person was like a magician or like this deceptive magician, low key, like behind the scenes. Maybe if, if you resonate as this earth angel, maybe they were sending it your way and trying to cause all this chaos in your life. But like something publicly was exposed or revealed that it's like it can't be uh, um, like it's proof or like it, it like you can see it. You know what I mean? Like it's like it, again, it's never the same. You can't go back like whatever was revealed, like it's changed somebody's perspective yeah exactly with that seven seven it's changed somebody's perspective somebody's been able to gain a higher point of view on something but yeah and because of that whoever this magician energy is they're they're worried yeah they're anxious stressed worried probably having nightmares sleepless nights insomnias oh my gosh yeah whatever whatever stuff they're trying to do on their own and like send to this earth angel or whatever like it's coming back it's haunting them because you see this like skeleton arm coming and this person's like scared like i'm getting monsters under the bed type of energy or vibe and the world again oh but the six of swords yeah Okay, so yeah, somebody could still be stressing about something completing. Okay, yeah, because exactly. So here's the fool, and we have it here. Where there's endings, there's new beginnings. Oof, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my freaking gosh, y'all. Hold on, I just lost control. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, like, 
I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? Like, cause how I just lost control of my cards and like my deck, like you could be experiencing like, and honestly too, like twice today I have, okay, so short story, but like I have a dog and a cat, right? So I have two different sets of bowls of food and water for them in two different areas. Tell me why specifically today I had dropped something into my dog's water bowl. So like it flipped the bowl and it got everywhere on the carpet. And then I had to sit there and soak it up and clean it. And then later on in the day, I was by my cat's <laughs> food and water bowl. And then I stepped over, like tripped over the mat where the food and water is. And I spilled her water a little bit and then now you notice how easily like I just lost control of the deck like maybe you're experiencing little things like that where it's just like it's it's chaos it's conflict it's like whoa like that just came out of nowhere you know what I mean like why is that happening well it could be because somebody is trying to send that energy your way Okay, so if you feel that energy is being sent to you, um, just return it to sender times 10, okay? Make sure you're cleansing your energy, that you're meditating, saging, whatever you need to do. Let's get some final messages. Because, yeah, I feel like that is something, yeah, and especially if you are trying to, exactly, so, because we kind of got away from um, what I was trying to say with this abundance, too, but, like, yeah, if this person knows, like, you're about to receive some manifestation or abundance or something like that as well, they could be sending all of this negativity your way, um, and even if they're not doing spells or something, they could just be sending, like, at, like hoping, wishing that you have negative thoughts about yourself or that you don't feel confident in yourself and things like that, because regardless, you're about to receive something and they don't want you to receive that, or you're about to take action on something and they don't want you to take action. They don't want exactly again somebody is in despair somebody is suffering and I feel like it's at the fact that like you might be trying to complete something with them or something in general is completing in your life and it's allowing you to move forward and like somebody doesn't want that so they want you to be stuck at a stalemate let's get yeah <laughs> exactly with the sun card, whatever needed to be illuminated, I feel like this is just confirmation that whatever I just said, you know what I mean, is exactly that's what is being illuminated or what has been illuminated. And if not, like this is the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So like, exactly you are go if you haven't received some sort of illumination or higher perspective or point of view, like trust that is what you're going to receive at the time you are meant to receive it. And also with the sun, exactly, this is confidence, happiness, okay? This is exactly, you're going to still get your happily ever after or your happiness, whatever this is, okay? Wow. We have the king of wands at the bottom of the deck, so it's a match. We have a perfect match. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this king of wands is completely in love with this queen of wands. They know they're, they're perfect match, okay? Yeah, exactly, because that's what could have been illuminated, it could have been illuminated and now somebody's grieving because it was this earth angel was their manifestation or their wish fulfillment after all but either that person or somebody that you know the person was connected to was doing some sort of you know whatever behind the scenes and messing everything up and distorting everything but trust you know with the sun like i said everything's going to be illuminated yep cut the deck at the six of swords you're being guided from what rough waters to calmer waters okay so trust what your intuition is trying to tell you trust the signs that you are seeing the angel numbers okay um because yeah for some of you guys like how i was picking up on like that two of cups soulmate exactly this king and queen of wands are perfect matches and like i said oh my gosh yeah one of you guys could be an earth angel one of you guys could be a leader exactly 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 because the earth angel with this temperance here the leader with the emperor yeah yeah i gen yeah Somebody's either trying to get in the way of like you being with your perfect match or with you just stepping up and being a leader in the world and like claiming your manifestations and doing whatever it is that you feel guided to do and somebody's not happy about it. I feel like on this one side is exactly this earth angel is like 
This earth angel is probably already getting manifestations. They could be a star already if they're in the public eye. They're taking risks. They're taking leaps of faith. They're taking control of their life. They're receiving their manifestations and abundance and happiness. But then now, like, it's like on this other hand, there's somebody else that's experiencing, like, these tower moments and chaos and conflict and it could be because it's either something they have already done so it's like their karma or it's because this five of cups you know is a, is um uh connected to another energy like this magician energy that's doing things behind the scenes all kinds of manipulations and things okay let's just yeah let's just get advice for the viewer real quick because i feel like with the sun the advice is everything will already be illuminated in divine timing you will gain the answers and clarity you need but yeah okay so the seven of coins this is like patiently waiting you reap what you sow okay this is taking stock okay maybe reassessing reevaluating a situation um, yeah, I feel like, okay, with the seven of pentacles and the three of pentacles, I really feel like the viewer, you may need to, um, reevaluate the people, like the people in your life or your community who you work with together. Like this could specifically be coworkers. If not, it's still family, friends, whoever is in your energy field, like you might need to kind of assess, reevaluate, take stock. Like, are they... Are these people supporting you? Are they positively helping you uh, manifest the uh, reality that you desire? And if they're not helping you, are they still just supportive of you? Or are they and working with you? You know what I mean? Or are they being very defensive? They're trying to cause you chaos. They're trying to tell you, no, no, no. They're trying to like make you miss out on these opportunities things like that because it's going to be illuminated especially like if you take some time like exactly the, this is, talks about partnerships okay any type of partnership connection relationship I feel like your advice is to take stock evaluate assess okay truly be honest with yourself you know what I mean go in hermit mode um truly ask yourself if they are helping you like what um literally I just heard a beep too ask yourself are they causing you to be in this scenario where you feel like you're losing out on everything it's causing you to have negative coping mechanisms or um, things like that or are they helping you see things from a different perspective and helping you grow and ascend and evolve okay yeah because I don't know who needs to hear this but yeah your partnerships can very much affect what is going on in your life you know what I mean um <laughs> But anywho, that is your reading, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for joining me here in today's reading. Um, if you did feel that this reading resonated for you, okay, so that way we can exchange the energy, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, okay? Turn on the notification bell if you'd like, okay? I'm doing this free reading for you. So if it resonated and you'd like to give back, uh, like I said, feel free to like. I also have, if you feel free to, or, uh, if you feel guided to donate to my channel as well, well all of that information will be in the description box thank you so much again i hope you have a great one and i'll see you on the next one bye take care